my channel I'm Jude and today I have a little different type of video for you but I hope it's the first of a start of many I'm going to do a DIY mini shrine for you I actually saw the idea on Pinterest and I just fell in love with it so I got all of the supplies ready and I'm ready to start so I'm going to have to move my camera so that you would be able to see the step-by-step -step as it plays out. So we're not exactly sure how it's going to turn out. So let me have you join me on this end so you can get a better look. So these are my supplies. My trusty glue gun, of course, that I've had forever. And um, I've been a crafter for all my life. So I have this in many different sizes. So this is the one that I'm using today. It's just, um, you will just need little dabs of glue so the smaller glue gun works the best. And this is the shrine, which is actually an Altoids box. So just buy a box of Altoids mints at your checkout at your store. And what I did was, because it is a silver and it's, it's not a surface that the paint adheres to very easily. So I just happen to have on hand uh, paints that I use, they're acrylic paints. So what I did was I used the white acrylic paint first as like the primer, the base coat. And then I wanted to go with a metallic acrylic for the for the main color of the shrine because it's actually based on the uh, the prayer cards that I'm going to put inside the shrine I purchased this one at my religious gift store and I thought it was so beautiful if you follow me on Instagram on the good news 27 you'll know I love and post often a lot of icon and images such as this so I really really like that and then actually I had bought another card I was deciding on the two but I noticed that I really like this prayer which as a consecrated member to the Militia Immaculata um, I have a special devotion to Mary. So this happened to be the prayer of consecration to Mary. And I thought that was so fitting because I'm doing my 33 days of morning glory retreat, which I will link above. And I'll also link the MI, the Militia Immaculata video as well. So you can take a look at both of those. So I have that, that and then I thought I wanted to put something on the outside of the shrine. So for that, I actually found a gift box that I had in my garage, and I like the gold, the shiny gold material, so I cut that out to fit the cover. And then on the top of that, I'm going to put an image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So that'll be on the outside. And then I cut a little bit extra of that same gold boxing and I'm going to put that on the inside and then I have some various assorted little beading, spools of beading and I have this one that's just really pretty. It has um, flowers that are spaced out on ribbon that I thought would be nice too. And if you happen to notice, I got these at our thrift store and they were very inexpensive. So you don't need to spend a lot of money to put this together, but just creativity and love for whoever you're, you're doing this for. Um, I also had bought a uh, medal and this is Our Lady of Perpetual Help that I'm gonna use in that too. So let's get started. So I have my glue gun heated up. And the first thing I want to do is to put in place the prayer cards. So I'm going to take the image that's going to go down, and I've already pre-cut these. It's very easy to do. You're just going to put it on the bottom and place the, 
the card that you're going to use underneath and then just trace and then cut out. So that's what I did. So they're all ready to go and they're all ready to be pushed down inside. I want to do it a little faster so you won't have to sit through all of the steps there. So that's the inside of the shrine box. I hope you can see it. There's a little bit of glare here. But that's the inside. And then I'm going to place the prayer on the opposite side. So I cut that out as well ahead of time. So that'll be the shrine with the prayer there. And then I'm going to place this gold, little gold, excuse me, I did it the wrong way, um, little gold, just for some extra adding. I know you don't have to do this. Be creative. Use your own imagination. I mean, that's what's so neat about doing projects like this. So I'm just getting an idea, and I did cut it to, to fit. So that will just edge it real nice, if you can see that. It'll just edge it, give it a little bit more decoration. Okay, so I put that down. I hope you can see that. That is just going on the edges of the inside. I'll push that down and make a little adjustments. So like I said, have fun with this. Um, what I tend to do is obviously whatever I'm using as my, my prayer card, that is what's going to give me the imp inspiration to go ahead and go from there as far as how I want to adorn it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pearl, I thought this might be nice, around the edges of this part of the the shrine. And I thought I would put this all around and then put the metal right here. So let's do that. It looks really nice. I don't know if you could see it. So it has just enough because I, I couldn't cover up the words, didn't want to do that. So then I thought I would put the Our Lady of Perpetual Health or you could use any charm or anything you'd like. And just put a little glue on that side. And then I thought it would be nice at the bottom. Okay, now let's work on the flower. The little flower, ribbon flowers that are going to go around. I wanted to put them around our Blessed Mother and Jesus here because I, of course, Love it when um, you know, they have fresh flowers around them. So I'm just getting an idea now of how much I need. And I might even bring it up and place it up higher. I'm not quite sure. Like I said, you're with me here. This is a work in progress. This is how we're going to do it. And yeah, that's what's the nice thing about you joining me here because, you know, we're like family, right? And we are sharing and we are walking this journey together. And that's what's so wonderful about social media because we can learn from each other. So that's going to be really pretty. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tacking them down.
beautiful. You know, as you're as you're doing it, it's unfolding. And you know, I think anytime we do something like this is an honor of Jesus and Mary. Um, there's a special grace that comes. Oh, that came out even better than I thought. Can you see that? So pretty. Really nice. And the metal is actually sticking real well. So that's really, really nice. So you can add Lauren even more, but um, I think that'll do it for now on that part. And then I'm going to, oops, there needs to be a little bit more glue here, which you will see you will need, and you will have to put a little bit more, which is fine. I'm going to just flip it over like this. I'm going to put this on this side. So I'm just taking again that, actually it was the top of the shirt box, and it was so pretty with the gold that I decided that would really look nice to put on the outside of the shrine. So easy does it, fits right here, and then I will put our Lady of God Guadalupe there. So as I said, you know, the whole thing, I happened to have the paints, I had the glue gun, I had the glue, I had the prayer cards. Um, I did buy an additional prayer card. So, um, but that wasn't much, it was like 60 cents. And the ribbon totaled a dollar for the ribbons. So it was really an inexpensive, and that is the front of the shrine. So there you go, my friends. Like I said, be creative. It all started with a, a tin of mints, and it turned into this beautiful shrine. So this would be a perfect, perfect present for someone that you love. Someone maybe has a particular saint that they that they really pray to. This would be a great gift for birthday or for the holidays, for Christmas. And this would be also a great gift to give to your children. Have fun. Take them shopping with you and have them pick out the different elements of their shrine. Make it really a fun thing that they could do too with you and if you have a child going away to college which will be happening in the next couple of weeks then um, go ahead and make one of these this is a special present you could add to a nice gift box a going away box for them for college so I hope you've enjoyed this DIY as I have enjoyed it as well so there you have it, friends. Let me know, have you made a mini shrine? And let me know any other DIY crafts that you'd like to share with me. I'd love to know what they are, and maybe they will be on the next DIY. So thank you so much, and remember to subscribe, like, and comment. And as always, until next time, friends, peace be with you.